Hello YouTube baseball card fans. Hey, you're here. I'm here. It's time to rip and today we're gonna rip a jumbo and a hobby of tops 2023 series 2 cards. So for me, it's release day for everybody else. That was like four or five days ago uh, These uh, I got on pre-order from tops website It was uh, I actually picked up four of the hobbies and two of the jumbos which surprised me that I, that I did that. Uh, I was going to go jumbos only because it was kind of the series one hits, but it ended up working out for me picking up some hobbies and and a couple more of them because everybody is saying that's where hobby and series two is. So I figured we'd figured this out. I don't see how I did. Long run, I'm sure hobbies got the better of the hits, but short term, one on one, let's see where we get in here with uh, a jumbo versus a hobby we'll see how it can do i'm going to start with the jumbo first because i want to see what the autograph is i have not seen them other than pictures but that uh it'd be awesome to hit one of those uh reverence auto patch cards that are in here i don't know if that's going to be possible though so all right starting off i think i have this card an 88 records breaker the original uh, with McGuire as the top loader in there, so that's kind of fun. I bet you, I wonder if that's off the actual, or sorry, uh, it's the 88 style, but uh, it says 98 uh, record breakers on there, so I guess I don't have that one. I'm sure that he's got one of these red record breakers in 88, though. I'm going to just throw him up over the top there. All right, the silver packs. I'm a silver pack first kind of guy. Let's see who's in here. And I tortured that pack opening in that here. So, starting off, Rivera. Hey, hey Josh Jung, that's a nice rookie mojo. Ryan Creedler, another rookie. And we got an auto. I don't know, it's out of 50. It's going to be gold. Bo Naylor. And... Just the gold. Rookie card. Out of 50 the mojo. Nice. We're off to a good start. Alright. Second mojo pack. So you got Brown. Hunter Green. Not his rookie anymore. David Wright. And Manny Machado. So one hit out of the mojos, but a couple of rookies in there. I think that's a good sign. We're off to a good start. All right, I'm going to move kind of quickly through these packs so we can do both boxes in a good, decent amount of time. Make sure I get these where you can see them. Looks like we're going to get them all flipped over. Drew Waters, he was supposed to be, I'm a big Braves fan, was going to be the outfield with Acuna and Christian Pache. That was supposed to be the future outfield of the Braves. And Cunha's still there, but everybody else, Drew Waters and Pache are gone. Pache, I felt bad for. He kind of struggled in Oakland for a while, got released, picked up by the Phillies. Actually started off doing really well and then got hurt. So he seems like a really nice kid, though. Hopefully things turn around for him. There's Alvarez. That's one of the better rookies in here. This kid can hit. So watching him against the... Braves uh, three-game series. That was one of the best series seen between the three. Luckily, my Braves came up on top on all three of them. But, man, that was a great series. So we've got a backwards card. Is this going to be one of our auto or relics in here? It's Bailey Falter. Uh, I think this is probably going to be the auto. And no, it's just, uh, we got the gold foil card, rookie card. So I'll get a stand for that here in a minute. Home Run Challenge at Devers. I put in a couple of Home Run Challenges earlier uh, this year and won one of them uh, for Chris, uh, uh, who was it, uh, plays with the Cubs now, Bryant. But I put it in the morning of, and I guess it lets you do that, but they said you have to do it the, the you know midnight before the day of game, which I think is crazy on these uh, uh, cards. You want to see who's pitching and is the, the game going to get rained out and all that kind of stuff, but they voided it, so I did not get that card so 
An All Aces. I think this is... Uh, I don't think this is in every box, is it? I haven't had a chance to see many, many boxes in here. But these have been really cool looking cards. So CC Sabathia, the All Aces, the All Star Bregman, a couple of rookies there. I'm going to keep flipping these around. Trey Turner. I think about every fifth card in here is a turnaround. Austin Riley hit a big series. That last game, four for five, like three runs, three, four runs in there. Any other Braves fans out there watch that broadcast uh, of the Thursday night game where they had Chipper Jones, John Smoltz, Tom Glavin and Jeff Francoeur doing the uh, broadcast. There was no play-by-play -play going on in that, but that was one of the best broadcasts I've seen in a long time. It was awesome. Corbin Carroll, there's a really good base rookie. He is turning it up. And this is going to take long, even at the... There's another... Josh Jung, that's... Uh, Oh, it was the mojo we pulled out of him. I was thinking that's a different picture of us because it was in the silver pack. Oh, we ruined that McCarthy card flipping it. All right. What do we got here? Not numbered. Jake Berger. Parallel or our auto. Another gold foil. So I've heard the gold foils, they don't number them, but there's actually less. Is that right? Oh, there's there's a gold foil. And then having it backwards uh, confused me for a second here. So then we've got a gold right behind it. I, th I think the gold foils are a smaller, shorter print run, but they're not numbered. So we've got a gold foil, and then we get another hit right after it. So Nico Horner in the gold foil. Very nice. And then an Ichiro, Legends of the Game. So I believe some of these are autographed. I've never pulled an Ichiro autograph before. Let's find out. Oh, just the Legends of the Game. So a great looking card. All right, Tatis. I actually haven't looked up and checked how Tatis is doing since he came back from his suspension. Okay, those first two packs. Let me take a second here. I'm going to just leave these sitting here. there we'll get some stands we'll start uh, kind of putting the especially the numbered hits and that up top we'll count them up and then we'll clear the board and do the hobby and see kind of which one came out so none of these right now I think the Ichiro well honestly there were some a couple of the, the rookie out of 50 I got to pull that mojo one back out of here is probably the best hit uh, we've had thus far. Let me get him. All right. Get a little setup here. Oops, broke the stand. Two gold foils, one gold. Legends of the Game. I think the Legends of the Game are all at least foils, right? <laughs> now you're seeing my clumsiness. Oh, how embarrassing. Being super clumsy. I meant to put the stands up before we got started. But I get a little excited when it comes time to open them. And I just wanted to get into the box. Put the Nico there. And then let's get here on our mojo, bone nailer, rookie card. 
forgot to turn the notifications off on the iPad sitting here in the corner. It's funny, here at the table, all alone, I feel like everybody's looking over my shoulder. All right, next two packs, picking up the pace. I feel like it's been a couple of weeks since I've really had anything new to open. Now there's just a ton of cards sitting on the on the desk waiting to be looked at. Perdomo. Diamondbacks have such a good team this year. Okay, here comes our next one. Backwards card. Hey, Drew Waters, we were just talking about him. I think he's actually still going to be. And these uh, the hits in here are coming back to back. So we've got a, a silver rainbow foil of Drew. I cannot hit the top loaders in here. And then we've got an out of 72 which is, I believe, the black. Of Thario Estrada. And then a World Baseball Classic for him. So the Giants Estrada. The, the reason I, I kind of pause on this, uh, I think it was him. I was reading a pretty cool story about his daughter gave him kind of a toy piece of broccoli, I think it was, if you see this story. And it was a gift to him, and so, like, he carries it in his pocket or something as he plays for each game for good luck. I thought, that's just such a fun story. I think baseball players are the best. I know the other guys do that in other sports, but I just like something about baseball players, and that feel different to me when it's that way. That's why I like baseball so much. All right, on Estrada up over here. First black, World Baseball Classic of Aranda. Brendan Donovan, Gold Cup. There's a nice rookie base, Anthony Volpe, Yankees, Senga, there's another good rookie. Okay, next pack. Still looking for our auto and the two mems. We've already got a good amount of hits up there. Moving just a little bit faster. Jake Fraley, there's the Estrada at base. Torkelson, another Alvarez. Seen him a couple of times. Here we go. Ryan Tapera. Not numbered, so we're going to get... Oh, and there's our auto coming right behind it. Another uh, gold uh, foil board. Or just yeah the uh, gold rainbow foil right in the jumbo I think we should get a lot of these it's like one out of every other pack right all right so there's our congratulation Michael I don't know how to say that name see see and I of the Reds an outfielder and I do not know him I think a lot of stuff in here is I've seen them some on card autos but that's definitely a sticker auto but a rookie card nice all right, we'll take him and stick him up front. Kind of start a new row here. And then uh, I guess uh, putting all the uh, foil boards and sleeves and that is going to, one in every two packs, we're gonna get quite a few of those.
All right. Then another ace is up. That wasn't the card I was thinking of. It was out there. Gosman. He was crazy. I had he had done so well. I think it was for the uh, not the Giant before he came to the Braves and then hit a good year at the Braves and then struggled a little bit and then left and he's been like Cy Young ever since he left. Very cool. All star Henry Aaron. Very nice Braves hit right there. It's uh I like seeing old retired uh well, most of them are going to be Hall of Famers in these in these packs. You know, I mean, obviously they're kind of a reprint, if you will, in there. But I think it exposes uh, a lot of, of uh, younger collectors and that not being able to have, say, a, a Hank Aaron card or anything, which I I don't have. I I don't have any actual original Hank Aaron cards. Just ones that have kind of been, you know, the inserts like that. We've got a good friend that runs our LCS. Then that's his guy, Henry Aaron. So I'll have to see if he if he didn't get that card if he wants that one. Bueller. Two is that two? Walker Bueller. And then Five cards later, another Walker Bueller. Huh. I didn't notice that in any of the other packs that quick of a repeat. Same pack and with just a couple of cards. Okay, here's our next hit. Isaac Peretti's not numbered, so probably the gold. Actually, this is Rainbow. I'm just going to set that there for right now. And then another gold card, Mitch Keller. So out of 2023, so we're getting a good number of gold cards in here love to hit them and one of the one of the rookies in the gold all right ah, so it's that one two or second gold and then the third being the mojo gold JT Real Muto Team USA those are cool looking cards Keaton. Donovan. There's another nice Opie. Good rookie there. Tyler Freeman. Not related to Freddie, I don't believe. Colin McHugh's been doing really good for the Braves out of the bullpen. All right. Next pack. Guess I should have expected all the hits to be back to back and back. You know, that's generally how these jumbos are. You haven't ripped one in a while. Sometimes you forget with them. So starting off with all of the base here in the beginning. Kyle Wright been injured. He's supposed to come back late July. Had such a great year last year. Felt bad for him. Strider Gold Cup. Very nice as the Braves. That's awesome. I don't think I, I hadn't seen that one either. I think that's first Strider we pulled out of here. All right, getting to the hits. So we're going to get a foil. Another rainbow foil. Dalton Varsho. And then uh, out of $4.99, that's going to be, uh, let's see, the green foil board, right? So Juan Bay. Nice. I don't know much about Ji Huan Bei. Actually, don't know much about him. But rookie card in the numbered in the foil bar, we'll take that. We've actually, me and my wife, decided to take our Braves vacation this year, and in August in Pittsburgh, see them play the Pirates and check out PNC Park. So, I'm not sure if Juan is on the roster not right now for the Pirates hopefully we'll see him all right we've got here's our first relic card this can be a good one for me 88 tops baseball all-star rookie and uh, not rookie sorry all-star relic Austin Riley 
that's actually very nice and a cool card and it's not the white you know napkin getting the the red on there probably from the uh maybe their friday night jerseys i'm trying to reach back for my thick card sleeves i got them a little out of reach in here same thing with the thick card top loaders let's see if i can get that so one relic down one more relic to go our auto is already down i gotta make sure austin it's up front. He had been struggling for a while, but he seems to have snapped out of it. The World Baseball Classic, 88 Schwarber. I saw Pena on that one. I was like, Pena's not still a rookie. That was a different Pena. Hells Miklas Lodolo. That's his future stars. He's saying his rookie was last year. All right. I think we've got, oh, four more packs still. I thought we are down to our last two. All right. This is going to be longer than I thought, but hopefully you're having fun. It was as much fun as I am with it. Oops. Outman, it's a good uh, rookie right there. I think he's still been fairly hot. The Diamondbacks got up ahead of the Dodgers. Dodgers been struggling a little bit. Otani, and into the hit. So our first one, you're gonna get the rainbow or the gold. Robinson, Chinos, gold foil. Uh, almost that kind of that gold foil board on that Orioles almost makes a color match. So, Hassan Kim, World Baseball Classic. Why is this one flipped around? Is that the... I have to go look at the other World Baseballs. I, like, I don't think that's like a blue, is it? No, that's not a parallel. I wonder why that was flipped. Signature stats. First one of those from Tyler Rogers. So, I don't think those are numbered, but they're a little short printish. Kutchen, another Freeman, Tommy Hendry, and another McHugh. Had some good Braves hits going through here. I did have an Austin Riley home run card I used earlier in the year. If he would have hit one, it would have been voided because I did it the day of the game. It was before first pitch. I feel like it should be, as long as you get it in there before game time, they can record the time that you put your cards in, as long as it's before first pitch, you want to make sure they're in the lineup that night, you know, they're not sitting, getting a rest day, uh, the pitcher's going to be the same, no rain delay, etc. You know, check the weather, but I guess you have to have it in by midnight the night before. Anybody else experienced getting their win of a home run challenge card voided? It was a deflating feeling. I've only won two home run cards. The one got voided. One was last year. It was a J.D. Martinez one. So, Mike Moustakas in the uh, silver, rainbow. Jordan Diaz. Trey Turner, 88. All right, we're almost down to last two packs of the Jumbo. And then we'll do the Hobby. Still looking for one more Relic. I'm really happy. I'm usually not a fan of the just straight Relics cards in most formats. But that Riley in the 88 with the red 
patch, which is, I think, coming off their Friday night jerseys. Of uh, the Reds at Friday, Friday Red Out jerseys. That to me looks <laughs> cool. It's one of my favorite patches I pulled. I pulled one out of Heritage once that was uh, Will Smith, catcher for the Dodgers. And Heritage does a good job with some of their patches. It was a pure white patch, but it had dirt or sweat on it. So I thought maybe I can get some DNA off of that and clone Will Smith. All right, into the hits here. Shintaro Fujumi. Fujinami. My Japanese pronunciation leaves a lot to be desired. So that's going to be in a gold foil. And then we're going to have our second patch relic of Miguel Cabrera. Triple crown winner. So a manufactured relic. But it looks really cool though. Not uh, not numbered or anything, but it's actually kind of a cool looking cool looking patch card. Alright. This one's too thick. Grab too thick of a top loader there. But it'll work for right now. Oh, Miguel. Need to get him up here. That one deserves to have a be seen spot. Oh, back to back Freddy. So we've got him in the uh, favorite sons, Freddy Freeman. He grew up in California. So, and in the 88 uh, All Star. We went, my wife and I, last year, our Braves vacation. We did go to Atlanta, and we picked uh, the series the Dodgers were coming back, and, and actually it was the Giants in the series before it. So we were there that week. We did it for two reasons. Uh, one was they were running a Del Murphy Power Alley poster. I don't know if you know his Power Alley poster. Bobblehead Night, and I wanted to get that one because I have that poster. And then... Obviously, to be there for Freddie's home first game back to Truist in Atlanta. And obviously, the Dodgers. And I sad to see him go. Really like Matt Olson. Uh, but we wanted to go give him that standing ovation, say thanks for all he had done. So it was fun. You get one. You get one standing O, in my opinion. And then after that, just another Dodger. But it seems like a really nice guy. I never met him, obviously, but hopefully he does. Well, that's on a Hall of Fame path for sure. All right, the hits for this last jumbo pack. Cutter Crawford in the Rainbow. Rainbow. Rainbow Foil. Pena, World Baseball Classic, and 88 bets. And that looks like it's going to wrap it up for this jumbo. Logan O'Hop. And the last one of this one, Oscar Colas rookie. That's actually, I think it'd be a good, good rookie Colas. I haven't followed the stats, see how he's doing. So let's kind of add him up here. Uh, we got the gold, the black, so that's two. The gold mojo's three. There's our two patches, four, five. Our autograph six. Another gold foil. Here's the rainbow seven, eight. Uh, that was a, another gold. So there's nine. I'm counting that as a hit. Ten. Uh, the gold foil, 11, 12, 13. And then we had, I'll sleeve these up later. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Decent or hits out of there some of them we just didn't get the if we had the gold of the foil boards and some of the top rookies and that my favorite one was the austin riley let me know what you think was the best hit in your opinion out of that jumbo and then let's do the hobby so one oligraph or relic probably going to be a relic and I'm a silver pack guy first, so 
don't know why wait why wait to see what's in these there we clanahan ortiz there's a nice like trout you hit a trout in a card like that i mean even even though it's i mean it's not really base because it's in the silver pack and that that's really nice it's a little <laughs> i think left to right off center though michael massey so we call it kind of a medium pack no real big hits in there but decent trout all right you know i have not been checking the backs um I, I'm, I'm fairly certain those i haven't seen anyone pull one of the gold foils i haven't in all the series one that i open up did not pull in the gold, gold image but i would assume they were turned around so i haven't been checking the backs of the non-turned around cards there's a justin verlander of the favorite sons is he, out in, is he from New York? Virginia. I, see, I guess I hadn't looked at the checklist for the favorite sons. I was kind of expecting that to be kind of father sons that had, you know, played in the major leagues when I heard it, but I don't think Verlander's father played, did he? This is something I don't know. Next pack, Jordan Walker. I think that'll still be a good rookie. Speak of Verlander, there he is again. Jock Peterson. Always have that special spot in the Braves fans' heart. J.D. Martinez said he was the only home run challenge that I've ever won. I think the card that came ended up being out of like 115 or something like that. I actually thought, because I'm not a Red Sox fan and not a Martinez fan, I thought we should get this to Red Sox fan. I think is when Martinez with the Red Sox. So I sold it, and, and I've always kind of regretted that. I wish I would have not done that. Kept that one. Ha Sung Kim, World Baseball Classic. And Padres fans, at least from the games I've seen, seem to love him. Reed Detmer's Rookie Cup. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the first one up on top. It's the uh, out of, uh, I'm trying to read that, out of 499. So we're going to get another green foil board out of here. Uh, it's going to be Rocky and Michael Toglia. Rookie. I do not know him. Me and my wife watch a lot of baseball games but it's all braves and so if they're and i try to read and catch up you know see what's going on around the league but it's it's hard especially when you have a job and i do i have to go to work i wish i could just play baseball and baseball cards all day but it doesn't work out that way so it's hard to keep track of every single rookie fantastic Another Spencer Strider Rookie Cup. He's been getting roughed up a little bit lately. Seems to be having some command problems. And I'm a big fan. It's fun to watch him. Strikeout totals are fantastic. He's already set some Braves records and beaten Smoltz and some for some single season, you know. Uh, single, uh, the single season, single game strikeout records beat Smoltz in like consecutive games with number of strikeouts above 10. You know, already had franchise records on that, but I've been worried as a two pitch pitcher. You know, if you got one pitch that's not working for you that night, 
makes me wonder how long he can last. He's, I think he's got to come up with another pitch. So, Josh Harrison, I'm thinking either a rainbow or a gold. What do you think? Rainbow foil. Going to leave him right there for right now. Juan Soto. And another nice Outman rookie. All right, next pack. Ooh, those came out together. Hopefully that landed flat, not on the corners. Nothing very crazy so far. Still waiting for that massive big hit. Hopefully you find it. Brian De La Cruz. Not Ellie, who obviously is not in this set. Probably not going to show up in a rookie card for him until 24 Series 1. I think that's what they're doing because his, his debut card for Tops now came out and it didn't have the rookie card logo. I think, you guys let me know, I'm not an expert, but I think that means that he won't be an update unless it's like a call-up card or something since they're using now and in rookie card would be in 24. Oh, hey, that's a fun one right there. Team USA with uh, Captain America himself, Mike Trout, doing the salute. <laughs> that's a fun card. Dansby. Good old Dansby Swanson. Nothing against Dansby, but Orlando Arcia might be one of the all-time best value signing dollars. He's been playing solid defense, really good offense, been a clutch performer. Hit a home running in the Mets game last night. At, uh, let's see, was that in the, the ninth? Bottom ninth? Yeah, they tied up to take an extra innings when they won it. Oscar Colas, so he's just been... Phenomenal for the Braves. Okay, here we go. Another one. It's uh, is that the gold? Yeah, 2023. Now this is a good one. Same guy, gold rookie card. I think that might be one of the best hits we've had out of both of the boxes. So far, what do you think? That one's not tapping down very well. So, yeah, I think that was definitely the best rookie card hit so far. So, not too many hits in. And still a lot of packs left. Haven't hit our auto or relic out of here. And the hobby for the biggest hit, probably already ahead. What do you think? Oh, okay, here's our next one. Royce Lewis. Not bad. Not numbered, so we look in gold or rainbow. Rainbow foil. Future stars of Royce Lewis. Put the rainbow right there. Hey, there's there's a nice one. I mean, it's just the, the base that, I don't know, in the 88 style, Adley, rookie card, Topps Gold Cup. You know, it's almost, it just, I don't know, it looks right. Looks really cool. That's just a base, but I'm going to sleeve and top load that one. Be really careful with that corner there. I know a lot of people that, unless it's the flagship actual rookie, you know, the number of those insert ones, they don't, you know, they don't tend to be as desirable, what I would call it. But sometimes some of those look better to me than their base. Looks like we got another. Backwards, there's an Otani in their City Connect jerseys. That's a cool card. We saw that one at 
couple times, at least out of the jumbo. There's another Senga in the base. And then our hit is going to be, it's an autograph. Carl, oh wow. Hall of Fame, Carlton Fisk. 48, is that 48? 49, 48 out of 50 in the 88. This is going to look good. I haven't seen it, but I know it's going to look good. On card. That is beautiful. Fantastic. Be really careful. That, those black borders on this one. I was thinking it was, I guess it's black and not gold out of 50 in these inserts. They're thinking Carlton Fisk, you think him, the Red Sox in 86 and just willing that home run over the wall. He's got to go in the middle. So, I don't know, you got to. Tell me what you think, but we're not done. I, we're half the box to go. I think I'm going to declare Hobby the winner. It definitely produced. And getting a Hall of Fame autograph when you're expecting kind of a relic out of the Hobby is just icing. Shohei back-to-back -back packs. All right. The significant statistics. Rio Muto. Fist catcher. Rio Muto catcher. And I have not been looking at it. I should probably start looking at the Topps logo. Because I know the Topps logo is the only thing on front you can see if it was a gold mirror short print. But I really think they're going to be flipped backwards. I think I would have picked up and seen if it was a gold logo. If I missed it, I'm going to be really embarrassed. Lou Gehrig. Very nice. I don't think I've ever pulled a Gehrig one. A lot of Babe Ruth you know, kind of the reprint inserts and that. Could have had to have. Just can't think of it right now. All right. That's kind of a, a Bryson. Um, uh, his name, he came from the Angels. Like, why is his name eluding me in that right now? Marsh, yeah, Brandon Marsh. We were just playing the Phillies and that. He's done really well since going over to Philadelphia. All right, so we got a uh, out of 299, which is an orange. I think this is our first orange. We've had a both boxes, an Aaron Savale. So not a rookie, but our first orange out of both boxes. So the hobby's still producing. I think we've already declared it. The winner, the autograph, was definitely better. I think Fisk was, uh, was Fisk on the list for the signers at the National? I think he was. I'd still rather get an in-person autograph from him. That one, I, I can't remember if he was one of the ones at the National. I haven't been before. This will be my first year going. I'm going to Target getting some in person autos. They just announced Murphy, who had I've met many a couple times before. Have quite a few autos from him, but I always want more. Andrew Jones and David Justice, three Braves, were there. And then Chipper was already there. And Chipper's someone that he chased around the ballpark for a lot of years and could never get an autograph from uh, Chipper, so I have to go to the card show to get one. I'm going to put it on his rookie card, the uh, 
was it the 91 tops draft card I pulled it out of a, a pack myself and uh, it's a little it's it's not perfect <laughs> or but I was so excited to have it I've always kept it and even though it's not pretty that's I'm gonna take that and have him sign it when I get those autographs on I'll, I'll be I'll share them with you definitely gonna target the Braves and then there's just you can't target them all there's so many guys signing it can add up to so much uh, even before the last set was announced there was like 41 baseball and I, I really only interested in the baseball players that were uh, signing autographs and if you were to get them all it'd be like four thousand dollars I, I just a little bit more than I spent on so I want to target the Braves make sure I get those I have an autographed baseball for in person of Andrew Jones um, that I have gotten but I haven't gotten him on a card Oh, and he's going to be in the Hall of Fame for sure. Murphy should be. And then Justice. You know, obviously bringing the world championship in 95 to Atlanta. Definitely a, a favorite of mine. Another Alvarez rookie. Kind of a fun Royals with Bobby Witt on it. Another good Corbin Carroll. Verlander. All right, we're down to five packs. And wow, I did not realize I had slowed down as much this video. I guess I should have broke the boxes down a little bit. We'll kind of try to wrap it up. But I've been having a lot of fun. Another Volpe. I hope you have been as well. We've seen a lot of cards. Seen some cool cards. One fantastic auto. I do not like all the flipping around. There we go. Another one. And it's McCarthy out of 50, though. So this is, uh, what, the uh, either the Mother's Day or the Father's Day? It's, ah, the blue, Father's Day blue. McCarthy, I don't think we, I think my little faux pas there did anything to that card. So future stars. I was hoping it was going to be a Corbin Carroll, but I'll take that. It's Father's Day and Mother's Day cards are very nice to have. Garrett Mitchell and uh, Austin Barnes will finish up that one. Last three, bringing it home. So I got two stand spots up there. Obviously, less cards. So the number of hits going to be a little bit less in the hobby. It's just the quality has been better. And then Austin Riley. I like the years, like 2023, where they do design with the little uh, portrait down on the bottom of the card. Looks like we got another foil board in here Cabrera flipping around Reynolds got Drew Rasmussen of the Rays and that's the uh, rainbow and then what is it oh Stan Musel the legend so it looks like we got one legend out of the out of the jumbo and one legends here out of the hobby and that's a really pretty card that's cool and max will put that up stan the man if i can aim it in there all right finishing off that pack Last pack. We got an empty slot for the stands up there. K 
can we hit one to put it up there and we're gonna get a uh, Schwarber it's a lot of home runs so you should be able to pick a day on that home run card and then Togla gonna flip it around Peralta another Drew Waters and finish it off with the Moose Moustakas so Thank you, everyone, for joining me. That uh, ended up being about double what I was thought we could do in the time, but uh, I had more fun doing it that way. I hope you did as well. Uh, I won't bring out the uh, jumbo box that. I think we already know who the winner was, uh, the gold Senga and the autograph of the Hall of Famer Carlton Fisk on card out of 50. Hobby is definitely the winner in this. If you like this, let me know. Down the bottom, we could do another one. I've got one more jumbo and a couple more hobbies, or I might just split them up. Uh, I'll share them all with you, though, so look for some videos in the future. Please give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.